feel great. Um, I'm very thankful that Mike and um, the community is helping us out, and now we can really make this project worthwhile. Co-owners of Superior Towing, Mike Weber and his wife Kathy, donated 12 vehicles, 20 scooters, and 40 bicycles to help relaunch the Dignity Project second generation. The Gainesville community came together to bring it back to life. We figured out a way to save the project, got a five-year lease on the on the building, and now we're re kicking it off with uh, donations uh, from the community. The idea is that we're a community-funded project. The nonprofit organization started in 1999 as the Dignity Project. They had the goal of restoring dignity into the lives of individuals within the community by teaching them vocational skills. Unfortunately, through the loss of funds, the Dignity Project was forced to close in February of 2010. Members like Richard Lowry were unwilling to give up on the Dignity Project. In May of 2010, the Dignity Project's second generation began. The resurgence of the project is valuable to those in the community. The knowledge of vocational skills will earn some people scholarships. Dignity Project Second Generation knows that hands-on experience is very important. They'll take vehicles like this one and whip it into shape in no time. We spoke with Santa Fe College and we spoke to them and found out that there were several scholarships in plumbing, electrical, as well as automotive that went unclaimed. So we're hoping that the project can be kind of a funnel to get some of these kids towards those scholarships. The Dignity Project second generation is looking forward to more students in the future. Going forward, we'd just like to see it uh, year round. Um, and we want to help a lot more kids. Uh, we only have three students now. We really want to see it to be a dozen students during the year and have a place uh, all year long that the kids can come after school and learn a skill. I just like to thank all the people over the years that have supported us. And you know, whether it be um, donating cars, vehicles, or and just helping us out. Valera Thomas, TV20 News.